Hi, this is Suresh. Again, very happy to meet you through this video after a long break. Today, we are going to discuss uh, so many things practically, and uh, I'm wholeheartedly thank my subscribers and my viewers, those who are given a good encouragement to proceed further. I'm very much happy to register my wholehearted thanks for all the subscribers and all the participants in my channel. And most of the participants have asked so many questions and they are given good comments as well as negative comments. I wholeheartedly accept all those things and I will try to do my best in the forthcoming videos. Today we will discuss about the Sampanos test practically. And this was the question asked by so many participants in my channel. Before going into Sampanos test, I would like to say a quote, today's education is like only testing the memory but it is not the testing the intelligence of a student. If they are going to test the intelligence, then automatically the education system will develop. With this code, let us go to the practical steps and procedures for doing Sampner's test. Thank you. Hi friends, as I said, today we will discuss about Sampner's test. First, I would like to share why we are going for Sampner's test. Sampner's test is a test which is done in a two identical transformers in order to find the efficiency of the given transformer as well as the regulations and as well as the temperature withstanding of the transformer. So we can do three performances with the help of Sampner's test. This test is otherwise called as back to back test. In this test we are not going to connect any separate load to the transformer. But the given two identical transformers, it itself acts on the load to each other and with the help of these two transformers, we can able to find the efficiency of the system. The most important thing that we want to check is the both transformers what we are using should be identical in specifications. Here, I have taken two different transformers. These two transformers are having two kVA as a power rating and the voltage is 230 volt in the primary and 115 volt in the secondary otherwise ST voltage is 230 LT is 115 so two different identical transformers are used for doing sampler's test and next we need a source for this particular transformer here these two transformers will take the primary voltages or otherwise the input voltages from the source. It means the input to the transformers are connected in parallel from the common supply. That is very very important. That means both transformers are taking the source in the primary side from the common supply. The next important thing that you want to think is in connection of secondary the secondary of the transformer number 1 is connected to the secondary of the transformer number 2 in series manner. Wherein the EMF of this particular one, transformer 2 is going to oppose transformer 1 and transformer 1 is going to oppose the transformer 2. In that way, we have to connect here transformers. I repeat, primary is taken parallel but series as given in series but secondary is given as series connections because this is going to act as a load for this transformer and this is going to act as a load for this transformer and secondary why we are connecting secondary as a low voltage terminal this is again an important factor because these are going to act as a load if in a transformer we know that the power of the transformer is given by k v a so here power are same because primary is going to take a kva equal to 2 kva and secondary is going to take 2 kva power are same in both primary as well as secondary if you want to load the transformer then we need low voltage we need low voltage so that i can get higher current that so that i can get high current specifications i can get high current specifications that is why we are connecting low voltages for example i am taking I'm sorry 230 volt bar 115 here my secondary is 
115 my primary is 230 volt since I am connecting in the low voltage I can get more current here the rating of the transformer is about um, 8.3 amperes in the secondary side and 4.3 sorry it is 8.6 in the secondary and 4.3 amperes in the primary side so when I connect a transformer in a low voltage it can be loaded to maximum and that's the specific reason I am connecting the secondary as low voltage con conditions in order to check the next one is polarity because we are connecting two identical transformers in series right therefore we have to be very careful in checking the polarity of the transformer that's the third important point we have to consider in connecting a sampler's connection and we need some connecting wires as, as here and we need the power to be measured so we are using watt meters and we need the current to be measured so we are getting ammeters uh, then we need to measure the voltages in the primary level as well as the secondary level therefore we need a voltmeter so these are the basic requirements for doing a sampler's test I repeat sampler's test is a test which where we are going to measure the performance say efficiency of the transformer as well as it is also able to find the temperature withstanding of the transformer next we will proceed to the connections and we will go step by step how to take the readings and how to calculate it we will go step by step until then bye wait